Hi, I'm Jesse Cass. The LMU Lions entered the WCC tournament as the number nine seed in the tournament and took on number eight seeded San Francisco in the first round game. Check out some highlights from the game. Just underway here from the Orleans Arena. Hazel Ramirez jumper in the air, counted and the foul. Five minutes gone by, Cowling from outside for three. We're tied at eight. One shot that time looked like an obvious foul. Whistle's not coming easy today as Anderson drops one in. Yeah. Cowling's jumper's up off the mark. Anderson with a great rebound, stretched out, got it, and then lays it back. Still with it. She'll look to round the corner off to Ramirez. Ramirez tucks it under, drops it up over the rim and in. Hazel. Clock at the other end with a tip. Ramirez picks up the loose ball, puts a three in the air, and it's good. Hazel Ramirez from outside. Yeah. Ramirez with the long rebound. She's got Cowling transitioning ahead. Hazel still with the ball. Slides it underneath to Cowling for two. Hazel shot altered that time. Anderson able to get a hand on it. She's down on the break. Step through move for two. Taylor Anderson. Five out of their 11 hoops assisted on. DeAngelis down the lane. A great no look to Anderson underneath for two. Game. Ramirez still with the dribble outside. She'll cock it. Put the three up and score. Space. Still with the dribble. Down to three. Gets it inside to Anderson. Turnaround shot is good. Goodbye. Hazel still with the dribble. Gets it up to Ben Jumbo who just checked in. Emily looks to drive. Counted in the foul. Is Keating still with the dribble. Down to two. Got to put it up. Hazel does. Counted as the shot clock expires. Looks to drive, keeps the dribble, kicks to Alex. Jump shot up and good. That time her three makes it a 13-point game as Ramirez drives and gets two more. Hazel. Calling touches, step back jumper. Yes. Back left side. Hazel, tough shot underneath for two. Side Backs it out to Calling. She'll put the jumper in the air. It's good. And the final score in the book, LMU 60. Six, USF, 60. Really knowing the personnel one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. how did you think they did as this game progressed? Um, I think we did a pretty good job. We were very concerned about their transition. They've been winning games lately because they've been transitioning really well. And, and so that was one of our big focus points. And I think we did a pretty good job. I think we only lost the shooter a couple times. And uh, sometimes that was out of a, you know, an offensive board kick out situation. So I think that our pressure and our defense was really good today. And, you know, our kids have a little extra in their heart against USF. They have a lot of personal friendships with those kids. And um, it's never a team I'm too worried about them knowing the personnel because they really know the personnel well. You got to, as expected out of Cowling, that sounds so silly, but we've just come to expect 22 points and eight rebounds. But talk about the play of both Ramirez and Anderson. Anderson had a career high, both rebounds and points tonight. I, I don't know. I just had a feeling going into today's game that Taylor was going to break out and have what we've always seen in her, which is a great offensive uh, touch and reads and feel. And uh, we talked a lot today and shoot around about just going for it today. And we needed her to hit double digits. And uh, she did. And, you know, Hazel, we all know that Hazel has that in her. And uh, when she starts feeling it like that, um, she's really hard to stop. I like to say Hazel is slippery, and I think she was pretty slippery today. Slippery and crafty. We just said whatever she drank for breakfast, have it again. <laughs> whatever juice that was, keep pouring it in. So you guys turn around. You now, with the play-in game, are in the first round officially of this tournament. You'll see Pepperdine, who you just lost mm -hmm. to last week in a thriller of a game. Talk yeah. about the preparation for your team and what to expect tomorrow. Well, I mean, in some ways, we're really glad we're playing a team we just played. Um, because the turnaround is quick. Uh, we're back here. We play at noon tomorrow against Pepperdine. We probably played one of our best halves of the year against Pepperdine last weekend and just a few defensive uh, stops away from beating Pepperdine last week. So um, we're going to be mostly concerned about getting some really good food and some rest and getting our legs ready because they are such an athletic team and, uh, you know, see what we can prepare and uh, – you know, try and fix a couple things that happened to us in the second half last week. Most of it was turnovers. And, uh, you know, when we get a little fatigued, we got we to gotta dig down and really take care of the possession against them because that's how they win. Uh, they win off their press, and they win off you turning the ball over. They don't win when you make them set up in the half court. So that's what we'll be really focused on.
And you got you guys have a very young team. All these freshmen, their first experience here. Neutral site, men's teams rolling in, bands, cheer squads. This thing gets crazy starting tomorrow. Yeah. What will you talk with your freshmen about? Will you let them just experience this and take it all in, or will you give them some guidance as this uh, starts to occur? Um, we've been trying to really keep them in a bubble. Um, I think that's we're staying off site this year and. The feeling from the team and the staff is it's it's been really good for us. It's been a good thing to help us stay very focused. It feels more like a normal road trip. And so we're kind of actually trying to keep them feeling like this is just another road game and not get too caught up. It's exciting, but I think staying, unfortunately, staying away from the Orleans is, is very better. calming. Yeah, and uh, so... You know, I think they got a nice taste today to be on the court. We haven't even been on the court until 2 o'clock today, and I think they handled it pretty well. So Possible. We'll be back for more tomorrow. It'll be noon game against Pepperdine. Congratulations, Lynn. All right, thanks. Let's go go Lions. Thanks. With the 66-60 to victory over San Francisco, LMU advances to play the number five seeded Pepperdine Waves. During the regular season, the Lions lost two hotly contested games to the Waves and will look to exact some revenge on their crosstown rival with the game at noon on Thursday. You can catch the game between LMU and Pepperdine on KXLU 88.9 FM as well as BYU TV.